I remember when I was little, a trip into London was the biggest adventure. There was something about the big city that fascinated me. The lights, the sights, the fast pace of it all. Everything about it just seemed so exciting. Our children are no different. They love a trip to our capital city and we were lucky enough to spend a couple of days there recently. Here is what we got up to. We have just arrived into London. We've just checked into our hotel, which is the Apex City of London Hotel. On first glance, it looks beautiful. All the interiors are so lovely. And the hotel is in a really exciting part of London because the Tower of London is just a few minutes walk away. However, it's down a little lane, tucked away, and it just looks the perfect place to go and explore the city. And if you've been following my channel for a while now, you will know that probably one of my favourite things to do and one of my biggest passions is making travel videos. Visit London have asked us if we would create a video all about a family enjoying a couple of days in London. So that is what we're going to do. We cannot wait. We've got so much exciting stuff planned over the next couple of days and we just cannot wait to get out in the sunshine and explore. Who is excited to go and explore? Me! Are you excited ready? <laughs> Won't you come with me? We'll go ride the breeze, singing, say la vie. It feels just right. It's a brand new day. I can hardly wait. So for goodness' sake. I think it's time Let's tell the world about First stop of the day is where girls? The Museum of London The Museum of London and I've always wanted to go here There's loads of different stuff going on But there's also an exhibition on at the moment Called The Beasts of London which is all about the role that animals played in the history of the city and you love animals and you love beasts yeah. Do me your best beast impression Oh, that's good. That's a good one. So we're very much looking forward to going and checking it out, aren't we? Yeah. Should we get going? Go yeah. inside. Take my hand, we'll go to the band for a song and dance. We'll go all night. What do you say? We go place to place, put it on display. On a boat. It's very exciting. I don't know. John was just saying he's never been on a boat on the Thames. I'm pretty sure I have. I've been on one that was static and I got drunk. Yeah, don't know if that's the same type of thing as this. It's not going to be up in today. No. But we're on a Thames clipper, which is just another mode of transport. It takes you all along the river, which I think is really cool. Can you use your oyster card? You can use your oyster card. I think it's cool. I think it's like, rather than go on the tube, let's go on a boat. So we're going to head to the London Eye stop and we're going to go on the London Eye later. We booked to go on at sunset, but it's now going a little bit cloudy. No, it might be okay, it might clear up, but then we're also going to go for some dinner as well. This boy's just woken up, he's had a little bit of a sleep. Get on the ground, silenced by the sound of nothing left but your heart shaped hole. 
lips had you caged until the fates showed me her and you hit the sky. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. oh. We've been here before, but if I'm honest, back then I wasn't sure of what I wanted. A helium heart. I won't wait for you to come down, helium heart. I know this time around it's a never ending, no pretending ever after the kind of love for my helium heart she found. Staircase littered with your shrouds, climbs to the top. We're on the left side. It's really Oh, you see, Ren? Steps right there. Steps right there. What do you think of the London Eye? Uh, it's very good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Back. We've been here before, but if I'm honest, back then I wasn't sure of what I wanted. Helium heart I won't wait for you to come down Helium heart I know this First time, time in a London taxi Rennie's really being introduced no to Slushy's here We're going over to Alfridge We are back in our hotel We got a black cab home It's been such a lovely first day in London We've all had such a good time And we've done so much already And I was actually going to do a little bit of work tonight But I am super tired So I think we're all just going to go to bed Have a reasonably early night Although it's not that early for the kids Because it's about 9 o'clock And then we'll be ready and raring to go For more exploring in the morning Another lovely sunny day in London this morning. It's about half past eight. We had a really good night's sleep. We've got up, had breakfast at the hotel, and we're about to jump on the tube because we're going somewhere that the girls are very, very excited about. Still, and I felt the weight of the moment. Then I knew, I knew, I could tell you felt it too. Oh. Smitten at the sight of you, I'm falling. Every little thing you do, I'm falling. Forever yours is true. Oh, we feel it all at once. Suddenly it just adds up. Everything aligned when we turn into us. Promises, hold them close for a lifetime Hand in hand, I am yours, you are mine Oh, I know, I know This is where my heart is Oh, straight in, everybody Oh, my at the side of you Every little thing you do been to M&M's World which was amazing wasn't it? Yeah! It was so cool, the girls were in heaven and Visit London arranged for us to do a really cool thing where you can put your face on the M&M's and honestly these girls were so excited weren't you? Yeah! It was really cool so thank you so much to them for that thank because I think you. that's made your day hasn't it? Yeah! Or your life! <laughs> so I'm just showing Maddie's as an example, hopefully you'll be able to see and the camera will zoom in enough but look it's got her face on them and then she decided to put footballs on and her name, Mads. How cool are they? And, and Lottie and Ren got different ones. 
but they're just the coolest thing ever. I just honestly feel like we shouldn't eat them because they're so cool. But yeah, I really recommend a visit to M&M's World. It's just really fun if you've got kids or even if you haven't. It was just a really kind of like novel thing to do. But now, where are we going, girls? We're going to Buckingham Palace. We're going to see where the Queen lives. And hopefully we're going to make it in time for the changing of the guard, which I've seen a couple of times, which is always really good fun to see. That's at 11, so hopefully we will be able to walk fast enough. You love dancing in the rain You never mind a cloudy day You make the world a better place Yeah, you love dancing in the rain Girls, are you ready to go on a really big ship? Yeah! <laughs> so we're going on the Cutty Sark now You love talking on the phone these guys are listening to the audio guide. <laughs> Do things other and we're going in the ship. Make sure no one feels alone. You love talking on the phone. We're just having a chill out in Greenwich Park for a few minutes. We got a drink from a news agent and we're just relaxing. It's such a nice day here today. And then we're gonna climb to the top of the hill to go and see the observatory. Ren never uses his buggy when we're at home, but we always take it out if we're on a like long day in cities, mainly because even if he doesn't go in it, it's just handy to store all the rubbish, isn't it? Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. We match them up. We're marching up to the top of the Greenwich Observatory, and it's made me realize how unfit I am. No, we don't have men, we have three children, and that's worse. and on a little adventure this morning. That's where we're going. We're going up there. So the 
reason that we have got up ridiculously early is that we have come to Sky Garden, which is in 20 Fenchurch Street. It's a big skyscraper in the city, and you can come right to the top, and it is London's highest garden, I think they call it. And you don't have to pay, it's free tickets, but you can book tickets if you want to make sure that you can get in. They do do walk-ins, but they're at certain times, which is why we're up so early. And when you come up here, there is a big 360 view of the city. It's an amazing view. You get a really cool view of the Shard as well, and you can have a drink. There's like a cafe up here. There's also a restaurant and a brasserie and things. But it's definitely worth coming because it is just really beautiful views of the city. We're checking out. Mama, we, we are bringing the suitcase and checking out.